And speaking of big stage, though, this is a big stage. This is a match you might see at the national tournament here, semifinals, the way these guys are wrestling. And this is, this is Jesse Delgado at his best right here. He's the guy that seems to be able to open up and get into Matt McDonough's head hands defense as well as anybody in the country, and he's just a great scrambler. This is an advantage situation here for Delgado. You know, and, and if he can scoop that bottom leg right there, he's kind of battling with it here, and McDonough's holding on for dear life. There's a little bit of hip separation being created right there. That's really important, because he can go ahead and turn out, or the referee calls the stalemate. You can see the crowd reaction, because that was an advantage situation for both of Coach Brands. Advantage situation for Delgado, but watch, he, he gives up ground, but he's able to get to the leg. And it's, you know, you don't mind seeing a guy do that if they have success getting the leg. And this will be the battle of the match right now. Can Delgado finish? Again, it was uh, Delgado, the last uh, wrestler to claim a victory over Matt McDonough in the dual meet, actually came in overtime a year ago. He's got the bottom leg scoop there. Now if he can push the head away, now he'll lift that left arm out. If he can lift that left arm out right now and turn back in, that'll be two. Now that, that's, that's usually called two. Right there, he, he certainly does have control in, in, in my mind, all right? I'm very close to a two-point yeah, take on this. So you, you see the hips give, up. You, you got to give the benefit that this is, you know, you break him down and explode, get your shoelaces up and drive back into him. But that... You see the look on Delgado's face, almost looking over. What more yeah. do I have to do as there is yeah, the and, first point of the match? And he did. He, he found the right pressure point to release. Now, here's going to be a challenge for McDonough here. Delgado will ride below the waist all match if you allow him to. And if he, he moves up at the right times, notice how he's got the hips torqued. He's got the belt buckle turned to the side, and that's really putting a lot of torque and in, in keeping him in a good position. So it's really difficult if, if, if McDonough turns back into him here, you make that ride even tighter. Matt McDonough, who just uh, picked up his fourth Big Ten Wrestler of the Week award. Coming off of that uh, thrilling win uh, over Penn State. Let's take a look at the first takedown again. Yeah, here's, here's the takedown situation. Right now, you'd like to see your athlete get your shoelaces up, but he's able to go ahead and turn and get his, his uh, just a little bit better angle, maybe drive towards the head a little bit. And that's a nice job by Delgado, but he's come out here as a ball of fire right now in this match. 49 seconds left, the big part of the match here for Matt McDonough. See the uh, Intermat National Rankings at the bottom of your screen, intermatwrestle.com. Of course, this is a battle of two of the top five wrestlers in the country. McDonough there with the escape, Jim. Yeah, look at the distance that he'll create. He'll put, keep a little distance, and now he jumped right back in on that shot. So he'll spend the whole match in here. He shoots more than probably anybody in the weight class in the, in the country here. Now he's in the same exact position. If he can let, limp that left arm out again, come across the body, right? Now he can come into a Granby roll type type situation. Again, he got the, oh, what a nice job of threading that arm through. Beautiful. And there is the takedown, and Matt McDonough, who didn't give up a takedown a week ago in the double overtime win over Nico Megalutis, the second ranked wrestler in the country. Now, Jim Gibbons finds himself in a big first period hole. Yeah, here's a look at the, uh, the job that Delgado is able to do. Gets to the leg, all right? He's able to go ahead and now in this critical scramble situation. Look at the left arm right now. He slides that underneath there and goes around the waist and gets the two. And boy, you talk about an Illinois team coming in shorthanded. A momentum burst if somehow Mr. Delgado can keep this going as he will go down to start this second period. A 4-1 lead after a pair of first period takedowns. Nice, nice job. And then you look at the riding time. 45 second advantage here for Delgado. Now he's going to get another scramble situation. And these are positions that Matt McDonough doesn't necessarily want to be in. He's really not really creating any advantage for him. He's breaking a little bit of riding time. You know, they're battling here in a kind of a switch position. That's why that extra takedown that Delgado was able to get is so important. You know, he's able to go ahead and now it's not one of those matches where you can really get back into it by getting riding time. And very nearly there was a third takedown in that first period as well. If you recall, is blown dead with a stalemate. So very easily, Delgado could have been up 6-1 at the end of that first period. Like you said in the beginning, it's just a tough out. I and mean, he just creates space. And just when you start to walk in to pursue him, he's able to drop in on his shot. See our official uh, there, Pat Fitzgerald, Jamie George tonight. As uh, 
Getting the wrestlers set from that referee's position. We are underway, 123 remaining in the second period in a match that has been dominated thus far by the fifth ranked Jesse Delgado of Illinois. Well, I, I really had a strong feeling that Illinois would come out and wrestle hard in this meet and just coming after a shutout at Penn State, or not at, at Penn State. There's a Kelly Fireman's type maneuver here. He's able to get back points. He's really adding to his lead here with that uh, reversal and back points. Got to be careful here as he's trying to hit that cheap tilt. Not sure where the payoff is there up 8-1, but uh, he's back to good position. It was a two-point reversal, Jim, and a two-point quick near fall on the tilt. And now Delgado, can you even imagine, is looking at a possible major decision up seven. Joe, he's feeling it, man. He's, he's feeling it. You can see that. Look up at that scoreboard. See those Illinois fans getting fired up. Take a look at that reversal situation. Great job of creating hip separation, going right into the near arm far leg and getting back points. You see it's there. The referee's right there, Pat Fitzgerald to call it. There's another good look at it. Now his shoulders are down, there's a two count. No question about it, good call by the official. And now Delgado with the riding time. If he could uh, pick up a few more sections, actually would be thinking about a major decision. This is the young man. Uh, but, but here's, here's, here's the match right here. This is what Delgado can do as well as anybody. And even though he's, he, he does back up quite a bit, he gets in on the leg. So he can't, you, he's, can't really get on him for stalling because he just gets to the leg. You know, he, he has success and he does score. There it is right there. You can't, you can't just bowl him off the mat without him getting that leg. Delgado, the runner up at the Midlands Championship. Lost a close decision on that one. And you have to be cool, cool as they come. You, know, you, you just had a good feeling. I think he did that the, his team would come out here and compete senior night. This is one of the meets that they had, they had probably circled. And Iowa you know, coming off of a real big emotional win. Well, especially after the weekend Illinois had uh, getting uh, beat up pretty good by Ohio State and then shut out by Penn State last weekend. So I'm sure the Illini were very anxious to get back on the mat here tonight and get those feelings of last weekend out. Now this is where Delgado, I mean, he rides below the waist. And what do you do to stop that? You get, you're probably going to get called for stalling. You call a stalemate. Yeah, a stalling call against Illinois. And he, he needs to move up. And, and what McDonough is say, well, what, what, what can he do here? When you get a guy that rides below the waist like that, you have to go ahead and really Give the official impression that he's stalling by diving forward. There he's back in on the right. And on the shot again with that. Uh, and, and, and see what else he does here. He keeps his shoelaces flat. There's times for the shoelaces to go up. And there's time to go flat. When you're trying to go ahead and, and keep the, the man from attacking your ankle, your ankles, you want to get those shoelaces flat. But going to create a little bit more hip separation. Reach back and limp back. Do it at your pace. Well, what a stunner this is tonight, or maybe not, when you look at the history between yeah. these two. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Delgado coming in. He was pinned by Megalutis last week. McDonough, of course, the double overtime victory over Megalutis from Penn State. But obviously a little different script here tonight. You see Jeremy Hunter there, the Penn State assistant coach, asking uh, Delgado to circle a little bit. Doesn't want to get pushed off the mat. But, you know, the more that McDonough pushes, the easier it's been for him to get on the leg. And there he is again. Get your ankle back. Mark Perry in there telling him to get the ankle back. Yeah, you know, see Jeremy Hunter, and this is the, that's the guy that works with him here. He ends up spending a lot of time with him, helping him throughout his career, the lightweight coach there for the University of Illinois. And, you know, they're excited and all that stuff. And I think what you have to do here is you've got to go ahead and continue to do what you've been able to do to get back in this match. So, or you get that match, you're probably going to get a stall call. Yep, that was the second stalling call on Delgado. So a point, you hear the smattering of boos from the Illini fans, but still a 8-4 Delgado lead. McDonough's going to have to go for that home run move here, Jim, before there's, time runs out. There's just not one in the book. There's not, you don't want to ever say. Jim Heffern in uh, anxious moments, the coach. He says, I can't bear to watch. He's back in the hallway as this uh, 25 punter's about to pull a monster upset here to start our duel meet out tonight. Well, maybe a monster upset for a lot of people. When you have a history on somebody like Delgado has with McDonough, he's been the guy that's been able to score points in these matches here. And a big win for Jesse Delgado. And that's uh, trouble right now for the Hawks with the returning national champion going down. Well, Jesse Delgado goes wire to wire against the 
reigning national champion Matt McDonough snaps that 42 match win streak.